Hello and welcome to a video in which I am going to show you two new of my electric violins. These violins were sent to me by King Loss and thank you so much. I'm very grateful that you've sent these to me so that I can show you guys how they sound and what they look like because they are awesome. So I got sent two electric violins to me. One's name is Cross and one's name is Duchess and I'll show you them both now but we're gonna start with Cross. So it came in a case like this, very nice. And then when we open it up, ta-da! Here we have Cross. So here we have Cross and it's very beautiful. Yeah, I chose this one because I was very intrigued by the pegs being at the bottom of the violin instead of at the top. I thought, this one seems so interesting. So now I have one so I can take a look at it and see how it all works. And also you can see the logo right here. And also this thing is very, very lightweight. So it's not gonna be so heavy when you're holding it up. And also about this electric violin, it has a passive pickup, so it doesn't require a battery. You just plug your jack lead or your wireless transmitter into here and play. So I'm gonna try and tune it right now um, with the pegs down here, which also seems very, very handy because um, if your peg slips um, during a performance or something. Um, my peg slipped when I was busking the other week during a Christmas song and I had to get the violin off of my shoulder and start tuning in the middle of the performance. I carried on, but still it wasn't that ideal. And since the pegs are right here, it'd just be very, very easy to adjust. These pegs are very, very easy to tune with. They're not slipping whatsoever. Usually when you get a new violin, um, the pegs take a while to stay in the same place, but these ones are staying straight away. Watch this. It's like magic. Okay, it's all tuned up. It's a very, very silent to violin when it's not plugged in, which is perfect for practicing and you don't want to be too loud. You don't want to disturb neighbors, but I think it's such cool design as well. You see, it's kind of sparkly. I don't know if you can see it. It's very, very cool. And also I love the design of this so you can put your own shoulder rest on which also was one of the things about this violin that I was curious about because some electric violins require using their own shoulder rest to attach here. I'm very picky with my shoulder rests and so I'm so glad that it has this feature so I can use my own shoulder rest, make it more comfortable to play. And here is Duchess. So this violin is more of a wooden and traditional shape, although it is missing this side. I think it looks super cool. And it has this on the back, so you can plug in your lead or your transmitter, your wireless transmitter. This one does require a battery because it's an active pickup. And here you can see augs in, so you can put your headphones in with a little headphone sign there. And it has its own EQ system, which is really cool. I also just want to say how beautifully made they all are. They are so pristine and they are so beautiful, both of them. They are absolutely perfect in all of the design, all the colors and the styles. I just think they're so cool and they're very, very, very well made. <laughs> so now I'm also going to tune up this violin. And now Duchess is all tuned up. So let's see how they both sound. This bow is very good as well. And um, bows take a long time to rosin fully to produce a great sound. So for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna use my bow, <laughs> just so I can let you hear the sound of the violins with a fully rosin bow.
I think both of these violins sound absolutely amazing and they're so easy to play and very, very well made. If you are interested in buying one of these violins, make sure to use code HOLLY20 or use the link in the description to go to the online shop. This will give you $20 off of your purchase. I really hope you enjoyed this video and there'll be a couple more videos in the future featuring both of these violins. 